My name is Adesua Dozier. I'm General Counsel for Gas Power Systems and Services. I'm also General Counsel for GE West Africa. I'm a commercial lawyer who ultimately supports the business team in achieving their ultimate objective, which is ensuring that we have power in the grid um, and delivering power to our customers whilst mitigating risk. So I initially met with the GE recruiter as a favor to a friend who had promised this recruiter that they were going to deliver a, a valuable candidate. And then after the, every time after the meeting, I just started seeing GE everywhere. I, I, I got intrigued. And the more interviews I had, or the more meetings I had, the more intrigued I became. And I began to be pulled into the business. It was really a call to be part of something that was bigger than myself. I'm a lawyer. I have a law degree from the University of Buckingham in the UK, uh, Masters in Commercial and Corporate Law from Cornell University. I'm called to the bar, to the Nigerian and the New York bar. GE has a number of training programs. Um, we have an early career development program for new graduates, which really is to develop them in their careers and really give them depth and expose them to the breadth of GE at the same time. We also have experienced commercial leadership programs, we have corporate audit staff programs. I think GE is actually the number one company when it comes to training and development of, of talent. GE has supported me in my career as a woman and um, this is something that's very near and dear to my heart because I'm a mother of three children. First thing is there's an acceptance of who you are. You're allowed to bring your entire self to the work. The second thing is that GE being a technology company is very focused on output as opposed to process. So it's about getting your work done as opposed to when and where you get your work done. So there have been many times when my six-year-old has a piano recital and up until the time she gets on stage, I'm reviewing contracts, right? And it, it's, accept, it's not something that I'm ashamed to say, but what, what is really fantastic about GE is not really the formal things that are in place, but really the culture. And also the men are there for us as well. It's interesting, we have lots of he, he for she, that's what I call them, you know, supporting, asking, encouraging you. I co-lead the GE Women's Network for Sub-Saharan Africa with a colleague of mine, Anne Jason, who's based in Nairobi, Kenya. And really the mission of the Women's Network is to recruit, retain, and promote women. And within the Women's Network, we have various subgroups, um, women in commercial and technology. We also have a very big focus in increasing the participation of girls in science, technology, engineering, and maths. The advice I have for African women, first of all, you have to have deep domain strength. So if you're a lawyer, be a great lawyer. Secondly, you should be flexible. You shouldn't view your career just as horizontal, but view it as a jungle gym. And finally, I'd say really just be resilient. Be resilient. Don't take things personally. I think as women, we often have that tendency. But don't think, not everything is about you. People sometimes just have a bad day. We have a number of phenomenal women leading various functions across GE Sub-Saharan Africa. I think that's really something that's special to GE. However, I think that they're phenomenal humans, right? So they're not phenomenal for women, they're phenomenal humans, and then they just happen to be women. It's really inspiring and exciting to watch.